Hi friends, Katie here. I wanted to create a little video where I introduce a new page to my book bullet journal and talk you through my thinking behind it. So to start off, this journal is from Flying Tiger and the pens are Faber-Castell. I'm just holding them up to the lens right now. Um, so with this spread, I wanted to introduce a page in my bullet journal for tracking how much money I save by using my library. This spread was inspired by a trend that is happening on Instagram right now, um, which was started by two of my Instagram friends, Alexi and Lauren whose details I'll leave below. Last year, they both tracked how much money they saved by using the library, and they shared it with us at the end of the year. Now in 2020, 50% of the books I read were ones I had access to via my library. A rough, pretty moderate estimate tells me that I saved around 730 pounds. This was based on UK pricing, um, which is a lot cheaper than Icelandic pricing and American pricing, which is where a lot of my library gets their books from or at least they have a lot of American prices on the back of them. In this estimate, I also didn't count the books I DNF'd or did not finish. Um, so given that I DNF'd 80 books last year, I would anticipate that I saved a lot more than that figure. Um, and when I calculated all this out, I realized that my library really was saving me a lot of money. 730 pounds is enough for a, a decent holiday somewhere in the sun. Maybe not in the near future with the way the world is, but I can dream and I just feel like having a figure as high as £730 just feels like a lot of money um, to use in all kinds of different ways and just to even save towards something a bit bigger. So thinking about this, I had kind of a revelation. Um, I'm not someone who wants to own a lot of books or have a huge library. Um, and I'm more into having like a small curated collection of books I really loved and some books I'm super excited to get to. And so that kind of revelation made me think about this and I decided to create this spread born out of this thinking. I've set it up so that it's like a jar where I will write the prices of the books I read in it. The prices are going to be based off the pricing on the back of the book and if this isn't visible, which sometimes is the case with my library just because of where they put their stickers and stuff, I'm going to pop onto Blackwell's which is like quite a large independent retailer in the UK and see what they price the title at. Um, the prices will be coloured over, kind of like highlighted, uh, but in pencil, uh, with the colour coding that of that month. So you probably don't know this, but throughout my journal, I colour coordinate the months of things when I'm reading and what books I've read, etc. In the last couple of years, I've done this in line with the basic rainbow spread of colours, and it ends up looking quite simple but pretty. And I think that this will end up looking pretty nice too. I'm about midway through January when I record this clip. And so far this month, I've already saved around £30, which might not sound like a lot, but you can probably get a meal out in the UK for £30. Um, I know you can still buy a, a reasonable amount of things in Iceland for £30. So it does add up and it does feel like quite a lot of money. This little clip that you see here, I add in a line. Um, above the line, I will like write in the books I read and how much I saved by reading those. And then below the line will be the books I did not finish. And there's little tabs on the side which are kind of like little labels as if on clothing so i thought that was quite cute so it's really just a simple spread for my own use i'm going to obviously use it throughout the year and um, maybe do little summaries at the end of the month for myself just to see how much money i saved each month um yeah i think it'll be quite a fun little tracker in my journal and i think it's going to be really useful to keep me on track with my goals and um, of using the library as much as possible and just keeping myself on track so if you have anything similar in your book journal or if you have any other ideas of how you could keep track of this kind of thing i'd love to hear about it in the comments below and thank you for watching this video and have a great day